I tried a new cheap place for nail products and I'm so excited to show you guys what all I got. What's up nail crew? It's Nicole, your fellow nail obsessed DIYer. And I just found this website, Timu. I'm sure some of you have heard about it. I only found out about it a couple weeks ago and as soon as I saw it and saw how cheap the nail products are, I knew I was gonna have to order some. Uh, the total that I spent for this haul that I got was $38.70, I think it was 77 cents, 76 cents. I, I'm forgetting now. And I was gonna try to stay around $30 like I did when I did my haul off Shein. Timu reminded me a lot of AliExpress except for the fact that you get your products way faster. I think I waited about a week and a half, two weeks to get my order which compared to AliExpress you wait sometimes two to three months for your products so this was a lot better and I'm pretty sure everything is coming from China still. I mean most of the stuff that I got said you know from China on it. I saw this really cute holder for lint-free wipes and I actually don't have anything to put my lint-free wipes in so as soon as I saw it I was like okay I know I have to get that and I absolutely loved it I already filled it up with a bunch of lint-free wipes I know that's gonna be so much better than like them flying all over the place like they normally do so that was definitely a yes for me then I saw some lint-free wipes and I always like to try lint-free wipes from places see what they're like the lint-free wipes I didn't even have to open them I've seen those before I've gotten them off Amazon they are definitely not lint-free and I make a mess out of them so I probably will just keep those like in absolute emergency emergency if I run out. Then I just got some new pump bottles for my acetone and isopropyl alcohol. We will see how they work. I put the isopropyl alcohol in them, but I did not put acetone in it yet. I was afraid that it might leak out. Sometimes I have gotten ones and they leak. I'm super excited for the micro q-tips because that'll help me when I'm going or tracing around my cuticles to get everything out and then there are these nail condoms I don't know what they're really called I forget what they call them on the site but I had to get them because one they look funny and two when I'm doing swatching with all of my colors it would be nice to have something to press it down I do wear gloves but in case I like run out of gloves or just want to use those or even when I'm doing manis I feel like the little nail condoms to protect the skin on my on my hands I am not mature enough to be using those nail condoms I'm sorry <laughs> the next thing that I got were these little nail art brushes they kind of look like gel brushes ones that you could apply builder gel or some nail art gel if you were trying to do some brush stroke nail art or something like that and some of them are smaller some of them are a little bit bigger so I'll definitely have to play around with those and see how they work all the nail art brushes are always stiff when you first get them so don't let that deter you 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 always have to run the nail art brushes through some gel just to make them like soft again and get them prepped and ready to go and I saw this cute fluffy makeup brush that I was gonna use to brush off excess nail dust when I'm e-filing off my dips and my builder gel I like to have fluffy ones just because it works better than the stiff ones I feel like the stiff ones don't work as well when I'm brushing off nail dust I got these other nail art brushes they were the thin skinny ones I'm not sure how they'll work but they look pretty standard compared to some of the others that I've got I think I just got some off Shein honestly I don't remember I I have gotten a lot of nail stuff recently sometimes I go and I order like all this stuff and I have no idea what I even remember I don't even remember what I ordered okay these next three are ones that I'm super excited for I wanted some chromes that were the solid colors I wanted a silver metallic chrome a gold metallic chrome and then I got this other pen chrome I'm not sure how any of these are gonna work I have used some chromes from like Amazon that aren't as good as some of the nicer brand ones that I've used but I really want to try them since I don't have a silver or gold chrome that's just like the straight color and here's the little chrome pen I am so excited to try this I haven't tried a chrome pen in a really long time it was I want to say at least like two years ago was the last time I tried it from a company and it worked well but this was before I even got into like the powdery chromes so I'm curious it was like this pink sparkly looking chrome I'm not sure it looked awful glittery to be a chrome but you know what I'm gonna try it I'm definitely gonna have to bust out some of my full covers and basically like pretend that I'm doing press-ons to try out some of this nail art stuff the next I got was some new nail foils I thought the design was super cool it looked like a really neat marble I don't know a gate kind of a neat effect and I really wanted to try them I have some new Hema free 
foil gel that I'm going to try. So I'm super excited about that. I cannot wait to try those. Then I saw these little Finding Nemo stickers that were so, so cute. I had to get them. I love the movie Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. Of course, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, these are going to be so cute for the summer. I'm definitely going to do a Finding Nemo or Finding Dory Manny. Then I picked out these two big packs of what I thought were stickers. And when I got them, they were very disappointing because they were just like the junky water slides that usually end up like not really applying that well and they have one sheet over the entire thing so i ended up just cutting them up and throwing out some of them that looked like really crappy and then kept a few <laughs> the next thing i got i thought i was getting uv gloves okay you guys these are supposed to be uv gloves what the heck are they they literally look like some felt that was <laughs> sewed together i don't know how anyone would consider these uv gloves i was laughing so hard my daughter was sitting beside me while i was um filming all this and she's like mom what are you laughing at? i'm like look at these ridiculous gloves she she didn't realize why it was so funny but i found it funny and then some like random look band-aid looking things that came with it the next stickers that I got, I'm super excited about. They're these little gold squiggly lines, and I feel like they could add a fun pop of nail art to a mani. I could use a couple on one nail since I have really huge hands. <laughs> I like to test nail files from places and see how they are, just to see if they're any good. Some nail files that I've gotten like from you know AliExpress, they've been okay to work with. I like to use a grittier file when I'm filing my builder gel down. I do a lot of hand filing, and I like to save my nicer hand files for when I'm just using the just filing around my dips to fix up the shape after I've activated and I was so excited about these little nail the stiff nail brushes because I feel like I lose them I don't know I did find one my son had taken one and hit it so I got 10 of them and it was around a dollar if even that so those were definitely a huge steal I was so excited I can't wait to use those I saw these neon pigments and I wanted to try them I've seen a lot of nail art using neon pigments and I thought it'd be really cool and I have a lot of neon colors, but I don't have just like plain pigments. I know I can use them, but I thought, eh, I don't want to use my good dip powders. <laughs> when I got this, I could not figure out how to open it at first. And then I realized that the whole thing screws together. So if you try to take it apart, you're going to end up dumping everything. I mean, it already, even from like unscrewing a little piece of it, it got all over my hands and it made such a huge mess. But overall, I was pretty excited about everything I got for only spending a little bit over $38. I forget what I said it was, $38. 67 38 77 something like that it was a pretty good buy to get all these different nail art tools now tbd if any of them are actually going to work well i was excited about my order from shein and a lot of the stuff that i've started to use so far from shein worked really well so i feel like my expectations are pretty high for this order we'll have to see i'll make sure i do some videos and talk about what worked what didn't now if you want to see everything i got on shein for only 30 dollars check out this next video and let me know what you think about Shein and Timu. Thanks so much for joining me today, Nail Crew.